क्लास टेन मैथमेटिक्स पेपर वन मार्च टू थौज सेवेंटीन तेलंगा पार्ट बी टेन क्वेश्चन ईच क्यारी हाफ मार्क् फर् फाइव मार्क्स फस्ट क्वेश्चन इज इफ पी वन एंड पी टू आर टू आर्ड प्राइम नंबर्स पी वन एंड पी टू आर टू आर्ड प्राइम नंबर्स सो यू कैन टेक बट सी पी वन इज ग्रेटर दैन पी टू पी वन इज ग्रेटर दैन पी टू सो पी वन यू टेक फाइव आर्ड प्राइम नंबर पी टू यू टेक थ्री बिकॉज पी वन इज ग्रेटर दैन पी टू Now do P one square minus P two square, which is nothing but five square minus three square. Five square is twenty five, three square is nine. Twenty five minus nine is sixteen. So clearly it is an even number. If you take any number also, you'll get like even number. Now take seven five, seven square minus five square, forty nine minus twenty five, which is nothing but twenty four. So an even number. Correct option is A. Next question: Sum of the distances from A from A to x-axis. So see, A to x-axis means, for example, this is zero, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So three comma four will be here. This three comma four. So what I want to say is, from x-axis when they ask, so from x-axis, the distance you need to see is y value. From x-axis, we need to take the value of y. So from a to x-axis, the distance is so this dis total distance is how much? Four. And b to y-axis. See b to y-axis, four, five, five, six, seven. If we take b to y-axis, will come somewhere here. B to y-axis, you need to see x value. So if they say y-axis, you need to take the value of x. That is five. So sum of these two distances, four plus five is nine. Correct option is D. See, from y-axis means we need to see the value of x because this is five comma seven. This is five and this is seven. So from y-axis, this point is at what distance means we will see the value of x. From x-axis means we need to see the value of y. Okay. So the total distance is how much here? Nine. Correct option is D. Next one. Which of the following subset is a subset of S containing all irrational numbers? All irrational numbers. Now see here. First question three is rational. So and pi. So here it will be like pi root two and three plus root seven. Pi root two minus pi is rational. Three plus root seven is irrational. So this two three. Three plus root seven root two pi. So correct option is B. Next one. Which of the following lines are like inconsistent? Inconsistent. So we'll check here. For inconsistent, the line should be like parallel. For inconsistent, the line should be parallel. So two lines. Two x plus three y minus five equal zero. 4x minus 6y minus 11 equals zero. So see here, it is plus minus. So clearly, it is intersecting because 2 by 4, 3 by minus 6, they cannot be equal. So the lines are here intersecting. If the lines are intersecting, we'll get one solution. As we are getting solution, the lines are consistent. So A is not the correct option. Now we'll go for like B. 2x plus 3y minus 5. B I'll take it as 2x plus y minus 5. So here 2 by 2 equals 3 by 1. So here also 2 by 2 is 1. 3 by 1 is 3. They are not equal. So here also again a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. The lines are intersecting. We'll get one solution consistent. So B is also not the correct answer because they are asking inconsistent. Inconsistent means the line should be parallel. Now see the option. 2x plus 3y minus 5 equal 0. x plus 3y, this 5 will transpose minus 5 equal 0. 2 by 1, 3 by 3. So here also they are not equal. This is 2 and this is 1. So a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. These lines are also intersecting. So we'll get one solution. And as we are getting a solution, consistent. But they are asking inconsistent. Now check for this with d. 2x plus 3y minus 5 equal 
फोर एक्स प्लस सिक्स वाई माइनस इलेवन इक्वल जीरो सी है टू बाई फोर थ्री बाई सिक्स टू टाइम्स वन टू टाइम्स टू थ्री टाइम्स वन थ्री टाइम्स टू सो दिस बोथ आर इक्वल देन चेक फॉर दिस वन माइनस फाइव बाई माइनस इलेवन सो हियर दे आर नॉट इक्वल सो ए वन बाई ए टू इक्वल्स बी वन बाई बी टू एंड इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू सी वन बाई सी टू दिस इज द कंडीशन फॉर पैरल लाइन्स कंडीशन फॉर पैरल लाइन्स पैरल लाइन्स विल हैव नो सोल्यूशन दे नॉट हैव सोल्यूशन सो द लाइन्स आर इनकन्सिस्टेंट द लाइन्स आर इनकन्सिस्टेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज हियर डी सम ऑफ द जीरोज ऑफ द पॉलनेमेल हियर द पॉलनेमेल इज हियर क्यूबिक सो हियर द पॉलनेमेल इज क्यूबिक सो फॉर क्यूबिक पॉलनेमेल सम ऑफ द जीरोज इज alpha plus beta plus gamma alpha plus beta plus gamma is minus b by a so here it's a cubic polynomial x cube minus 2x square plus 3x minus 4 a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d so a value is 1 b is minus 2 c is 3 d is minus 4 so here minus b if you see again it is minus And a is one, so minus of minus plus two, so the correct option is B. Next one. So here, these are the vertices of a parallelogram. So as the vertices of a parallelogram, diagonals bisect each other. Diagonals bisect each other. So what I'll do is here, I'll draw the parallelogram. A, x comma y, B, two comma zero. C three comma two, D one comma two. Midpoint of AC. Midpoint of AC. Midpoint of AC equals midpoint of BD. Midpoint of B. B is three comma sorry two comma zero. And D is one comma two. Midpoint formula is x one plus x two by two, x one plus x two by two, y one plus y two by two. So here if I do that, x plus three by two, y plus two by two equals two plus one by two, zero plus two by two. So if I liquid abscess with abscess and ordinate with ordinate, so x plus three by two equals Two plus one is three by two. Two two cancel. X plus three equals three. So x equals three minus three. So x equals zero. Next one. Y plus two by two is two by two. Two two cancel. So y plus two equals two. Y equals two minus two. So y value is zero. So x is zero. Y is zero. So the correct option is A. Next one. Here, x square minus p x, x square minus p x plus q, x square minus p x plus q. It has distinct and real and distinct. So, first compare with the standard and write a b c values here. A value is one, b is minus p, c is q. Real and distinct. So b square minus four ac is greater than zero. B square minus four ac is greater than zero. So here b is minus p whole square minus four into one into q is greater than zero. So p square minus four q is greater than zero. P square minus four q we don't have the option. So send four q to the other side. P square is greater than four q. P square is greater than four q. So the correct option is B. Next, in this eighth question, the graph y equals x. So see, y equals x here, like it is a U-shaped curve. So here, it is a quadratic equation. This is also a quadratic equation. Y is equal to x is a linear equation. Y is equal to x is a linear equation. So Out of these two, one value will be correct. So how to check it? Just draw like how will you plot the values like x and y. If y equals x, 
if x is 0 y is 0 so if you take one value both will look correct okay then take x is 1 y is 1 if x is 2 y is 2 if x is 3 y is 3 now see x is 1 here y is 1 here so this is the correct graph for x1 here you are getting y minus 1 so this will be the wrong one so the correct option is y equals x correct option is c these two are not the answers because they are like u shape those are like quadratic equations next one the distance between the distance between two points a cos theta comma 0 and uh, a 0 comma a sin theta so a cos theta comma 0 0 comma a sin theta so if i'll do the distance under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so under root x2 is 0 minus a cos theta whole square y2 is a sin theta minus 0 whole square so here 0 minus a cos theta is minus a cos theta whole square a sin theta minus 0 is a sin theta whole square if i'll expand this will become a square cos square theta this also a square sin square theta if we'll take a square common cos square theta plus sin square theta cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 so under root a square under root a square is nothing but a so the correct option is a from the Venn diagram A union B see here both are disjoint sets so A union B will be like 5 6 7 8 5 6 7 8 so the correct option is B